there are still a lot of unanswered questions in the investigation. And we are continuing to follow up on them. Darian Trotter lays out the answers that we are still working to find out tonight. I'm Darian Trotter with unanswered questions tonight. We are working to hold authorities in Uvalde accountable, including law enforcement agencies that responded to the Uvalde school tragedy. Some of the questions we're working to get answers for you include, could more charges be filed if anything incriminating is found in the video released today? We're also continuing to ask for critical documents from Uvalde CISD, the Uvalde County Sheriff's Office, and Texas DPS because they've continued to appeal orders to hand over everything. News for San Antonio and our parent company, Sinclair, are part of the lawsuit filed to obtain these documents. We also want to know, will the state still hold outgoing top-ranking officials with DPS accountable for what happened that day? This comes after Regional Director Victor Escala, uh, Escalon rather, retired at the end of August, and DPS Director Steve McGraw announced his retirement, which will become effective at the end of the year. We are committed to getting answers for you as part of our continuing coverage of developments in Uvalde. Tackling your unanswered questions, I'm Darian Trotter, News 4 San Antonio. When it comes to the entire investigation into Uvalde, there are plenty of questions that still need to be answered. For more on that angle of the story, let's go ahead and bring in news for San Antonio's Darian Trotter. Darian, what are some of the answers that we're still in search of tonight? Well, Jonathan, as we've reported, this has been a more than two year legal fight. And while some progress was made today with today's release, the fight for transparency is far from over. In the video released today, several dash cam videos appear to be malfunctioning. You see it there on your screen or very old. Some of the videos show color bars and they weren't working. That's what we want to ask them. Why weren't they working? And if they're not working, how is the Uvalde PD able to document incidents if the cameras aren't uh, recording? If they have been replaced or not? Those are questions we are seeking to ask. We're also continuing to ask for critical documents from Uvalde CISD the Uvalde County Sheriff's Office and the Texas Department of Public Safety. DPS has more than a two terabytes of information yet to be released. Our efforts on this have been blocked several times by legal appeals. And what about more indictments? As of today, only two people have been criminally indicted. We want to know, are more indictments coming? We are committed to getting answers for you as part of our continuing coverage. Tackling your unanswered questions, I'm Darian Trotter, News 4 San Antonio. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to get all the latest news right here.